In August 2020, Dmitry Chikvarkin, 48, was asked to pick up two young girls as a favor from his neighbors in a small town in southern Russia. Dmitry, an ex-police officer, ran his own trucking company and was often asked to pick the girls up as a favor. On this day, he was supposed to pick up the girls, a three-year-old and a ten-year-old, and drop them off at their babysitter's house. Dmitry did as he was told. He picked up and dropped the girls off as told. But when Valeria Dunaeva, 25, mother of the three-year-old, arrived to pick up the girls from the babysitter, the ten-year-old girl revealed a bombshell. The ten-year-old proceeded to tell Valeria that Dmitry had touched both of the girls inappropriately below the belt. Valeria went home and immediately told her boyfriend, 31-year-old Sergei Chabin, and the father of the 10-year-old girl, about what his daughter had said. Sergei and Valeria, furious, enlisted the help of friends. Sergei, their two friends, and Valeria then proceeded to track down Dmitri on a mission to teach him a lesson. Why the four of them decided to take this into their own hands instead of calling law enforcement is unknown. But Valeria and Sergei made the call on their own that Dmitri was indeed a pedophile and decided that he deserved to be punished for his crime. What happened next was a horrific attack of violence that no human should suffer. They attacked him physically and assaulted Dmitri with a metal pipe and then beat him until he was unconscious. They went so far as to crack his skull with the same metal pipe. Apparently, during the attack, Valeria's former aunt-in-law tried to stop the assault from happening. She was friends with Dmitri and thought he was innocent, but in doing so, she was also attacked. When the attackers left, Dmitri was alive, but he was later pronounced dead at the hospital. He died from traumatic head wounds that he was unable to survive. Later, at Dmitri's funeral, priests would protect his family from looking at the body due to the severity of the injuries on his head. It was said that Dmitri was unrecognizable. The police then proceeded to launch an investigation as to why this man was brutally beaten and left to die on his own. A friend of Dmitri later told Komsomolskaya Pravda newspaper. He just wanted to help by giving the kids a life, but he was killed. He would never harm children. It turns out that friend was correct. Dmitri was innocent, and he was anything but not a pedophile. The police tracked down the two little girls that Dmitri had given a ride to that day and conducted an interview with them. The older girl informed the police that she had only been kidding about what had happened with Dmitri. Police, based on her statement, believed that she was lying about what she said about Dmitri as a joke. It was confirmed later that it was indeed just a childhood prank, a prank that would not only alter the course of their parents' lives forever but one that had devastating consequences for an innocent man. What's most interesting about this case is that this was not the first time Dmitri had given the girls a ride. Apparently, Dmitri had given the girls a ride many times to their caretaker's home. So why did the parents jump to violence when they knew this man, their neighbor? Why not go to the authorities and let them conduct a proper investigation? If it weren't devastating enough to learn that an innocent man lost his life in such a horrific way for a crime he did not commit, we learned that Dmitri was also a husband to Yana and a father to a six-year-old girl of his own, a girl who would no longer be able to grow up with a father. Through various reports, it seems that Valeria and her friends might have been the ones to instigate the attack and rile up Sergei. Law enforcement cited the women as showing great cruelty and sadistic imagination towards Dmitri. Alina Mikhailova, the mother of the 10-year-old and Sergei's ex, was also involved in the attack. Valeria and Alina were also apparently friends. It seems as though she was a bystander who witnessed the abuse, but she was also charged with threatening the victim with murder. It's still unknown why the 10-year-old girl would have lied about such a serious issue, but her mother hoped that the family of Dmitri would not place the blame on her, an innocent child who made a mistake. Nearly a year after the incident, the accused faced their charges. Valeria was charged with causing grievous bodily harm resulting in death, while Sergei and his friend Mikhail received the same as well as charges of assault. Dmitri's family was incredibly upset over the charges and felt they were too lenient. A lawyer representing the victim's family was quoted saying, We disagree with this decision and have filed a motion for murder charges. It seems this motion was heard. Valeria, Sergei, and 27-year-old Mikhail Ivanov, a friend of Sergei's were eventually charged with murder for the death of Dmitri. Specifically charged with a murder with special cruelty by a group of persons by prior conspiracy. Meanwhile, 
the two other friends who helped in the attack fled and were on the run. While Valeria faced 20 years in prison, the two men faced life behind bars. Eventually, they were sentenced. Valeria was sentenced to a total of 10 years and one month, a much shorter time than expected. Sergei was sentenced to 15 years and Mikhail was sentenced to 19 years for their involvement in the assault and murder of Dmitri. Ultimately, you could say the three got off easy, as they could very well have served life in prison. Dmitri's legacy lives on through his friends, his wife, and his old colleagues. According to one of Dmitri's old colleagues, Dmitri was an ex-police officer and had joined the force after serving time in the army. His fellow policemen called him a brave man who often helped them detain criminals and who served as a loving father to his six-year-old daughter.